What's up everybody on Chad and this is My Low Rider Life and uh, today we're going to talk about a, a scooter I have that uh, I customized. Uh, this scooter was given to me by Chris, my friend Chris. This was a Kent scooter from the 80s and uh, you know I had only seen one other scooter ever done before I had built this and it was a purple one. I think it came out of Japan but I thought well that would be cool to have a scooter and um, you know I wanted to ride it myself. <laughs> I built these toys all for my niece and my son and, and, and I wanted to ride something myself and so I decided to get a scooter and I uh, thought it would be cool to kind of do a, uh, a chopper themed scooter and so that's kind of was the route that I went and um, you know I named it a Topcock <laughs> and the reason I named it Topcock is at the time I was man I was feeling kind of a lot of hate coming at me man and uh, let's embrace it you want to think I'm a cock well here I'm the Topcock so it's all good, man. I put the hey hey on there, kind of, kind of <laughs> thought he was cool. My wife got me this little hey. hey. He's like, I think he might have been a dog toy, but he rides with me, you know. Got some low rider mufflers, threw them on there, you know. Got the, uh, got some fenders, and this was kind of cool because I, I I got this out of a um, off a Schwinn Roadster tricycle. So on the back of the Schwinn Roadster, they have a nice little wood board and it's burned in with Schwinn and everything, but it has a nice chrome trim around it, right? So I thought, well, that would make a cool foot, a fo a footstool, you know, and kind of reminds me of the Harley footstools a little bit, kind of reminds me of the skateboard, but it had the nice chrome trim, man. So, you know, I just put the skateboard tape on it and got the, the chrome trim and mounted it on there, you know, it's all good. You know, I've got some ape hangers. The ape hangers turned out nice, and, and this thing rides really good. It rides, it, 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 you know, and it's fun to ride. And, uh, you know, I just rattle bombed it, sat in black. You know, I, I wet sanded it all down and, you know, tried to make it nice and everything. But when I ordered these rims and tires here, they, they didn't, um, they weren't going to fit. They weren't going to work. They were too wide. And so I didn't really know exactly what to do, but I wanted to build this one all on my own. I didn't really want to have any help, and I don't have a welder. I'm kind of limited on, on, on some of my tools, you know, and I didn't really have the space because the Regal used to sit right here. So I made a little template and I just cut some, uh, cut some metal pieces, basically made a shim in between them to whip the fork. And then I just made a little bracket to extend it down. And I just cut those out with an angle grinder, just straight out of metal. And then, you know, sanded them and, 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 and uh, you know, flat black painted them and then just made the tires work that way and then I'm sure there's a bunch of bike guys out there that know better uh, ways to do it but you know I didn't want to bend the forks and I didn't have a welder so that was the way I figured to do it and so I got the tires mounted but I had to do it on the front and the back you know and uh, and then when I got these tires you know they, they had these new tires with a, with a color strip right here and, and, it, and it came I got them in orange because they didn't have red at the time but I wasn't feeling the orange man I wasn't feeling the orange so I thought well hell with it I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to paint it and uh, you know, I, uh, while I while, while I decided to paint it, I thought we would go ahead and shoot a little uh, video while we were painting it, you know. And uh, you know, we'll just cut to that video. So, got my new tires in for my scooter, my scooter top cock. Pretty excited about it because I've been waiting on good tires for a while. The tires I kept buying, I couldn't get on the damn rims. Took them to my grand, my father-in-law, Grandpa Rick. Tried to get them on, couldn't get them on. Took them to a tire shop to pay him to get them on, couldn't get them on. So I ordered a new set, got these ones. The only ones available at the time in the 12 inch were the ones with this orange line on them. And I thought, well, it might might look kind of like Harley-ish or might, 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 uh, I don't know, might look okay. But I got it and I don't really care for the orange line. But I like the tire. I'm on it myself, perfect, easy and I'm happy with it. So other than the orange, I'm really happy with the tire. I got it at uh, Let Let It Roll Bikes on eBay. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do to fit my, my scooter is I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that line. Flat red. And I'm just gonna go right in this little groove and I'm just gonna go all the way around the tire just like that. And the reason I'm thinking that it's gonna actually stick and stay is because there's, I think that's all they did. I think that's all they did. They just went around the tire with a paint can of some kind. It might be a better paint that's made for rubber or something, but I'm pretty sure that's all they did. Um, but there's a lot of little grooves and nicks and crannies in there 
And so that paint is going to seep into those little grooves and nicks and crannies and it's going to, um, you know, it's going to bite all right. And I'm not going to, I'm not, I ride this, but I'm not going to ride it like every day. So I'm not too worried about it. I could always repaint it if I wanted to. So anyways, at the end of it, it's going to look like that. It's not 100% perfect, but rolling down the road, it's going to look pretty cool with the black and white and red, you know, all hot rod style on a chopper bike. So anyways, uh, we'll get back to it, let you know how it turns out. All right, well, we're back. And uh, just so you know, the uh, tire has held up <laughs> and I do ride the scooter. I, I like riding the scooter. But anyways, we got the lights off, as you know. The reason we got the lights off is because I wanted to show you my tail light. That kind of did tail light little skull, you know, and his eyes light up. And it does all kinds of silly things, but it also has some little lasers on the ground. They flash or whatever. And you can, but it's kind of cool. And then, you know, old school guys, you know what I'm talking about, the mini trucks and stuff. I got myself a little remote. Got some little, uh, kind of like some neon going on, you know? So, if I decide to ride it at night, I see that silly thing. All right. <laughs> Went ahead and represent the club. Always, man. You know, some of them Harley guys, they got them dog leashes. So I was trying to, to resemble the, uh, the dog leash, you know. And uh, always got to represent the club. And again, you know, I wanted the uh, Harley look. And, and the Harley's got them three headlight assemblies. Sometimes, you know, it's the, the big headlight and the two littler white lights and then the amber lights, you know. But And then I had Goofy, man. Put the nice little logo on there. Gave me the top cock chicken man, the uh, rooster. You know, got the old school little dime valve stem. You know, got some acorns. You know, just a fun little scooter. But uh, I actually do. I really enjoy riding this thing. It's pretty cool. And then I made this bracket right here. I made this bracket just out of aluminum. Just out of aluminum, just flat piece of steel, and I rolled it on a welding cap and uh, polished it out on my polisher. Got it nice, almost almost chrome. And I really like the way the scooter looks when my when my uh, exhaust pipes are like that, man. That gives it that low look, you know. But it's not really practical. <laughs> I found out real quick that's not really practical for riding it, and I enjoy riding it. So, anyways, fellas and ladies and children, this top cock. I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, see you next time. If you guys are digging what we're doing and you're liking the shows, please uh, like and share and subscribe. Thanks.